Amen. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good to see all your smiling faces. Glad to have the rest of you too. We hope you'll catch up before too long. Somebody say praise the Lord this morning. Can I get a hallelujah? How about an amen? I found the Pentecostals. I know where you are. <laughs> I remember when I was just a boy How the saints would testify How God had brought them through another trial How Jesus had been walking by their side They would tell about the blood of Calvary I would save them from their sin Somebody would stand to their feet and shout Praise the Lord, hallelujah, amen together and lift our voice see what the lord will do and don't worry about what tomorrow brings i'll just leave it in god's hands i'll just stand right up to my feet and shout praise the lord hallelujah amen praise the lord for the victories won Settled. I have been saved. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You know that chorus. Sing it. Come on. Amen. Yeah. I have been saved. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you. God's in the business of answering prayer and I know he's gonna answer mine He did it for Moses, he did it for David, he's been doing it for a long, long time If your burdens got you down, getting heavy to bear, why not take them to the Lord up above? Cause God's in the business of answering prayer God's in the business of love I was walking down the street When I met a man And his head was hanging low to the ground I said, hey mister Can I lend you a hand? Let me tell you what a secret I found I sang him my song And he started to sing along And the tears, they started filling his eyes He said, what a shame While the world plays its game The poor people never realize That God's in the business of answering in prayer and I know he's gonna answer mine He did it for Moses, he did it for David He's been doing it for a long, long time If your burdens got you down, getting heavy to bear Why not take them to the Lord up above? Cause God's in the business of answering prayer God's in the business of love Life can bring you moments of heartache and pain Let me tell you, they're not easy to bear As sure as there's sunshine, as sure as there's rain I'm sure that there's a God who cares Why do you keep on climbing the mountain When by faith you've been praying it will fall to the sea Why do you keep on fighting when you could be delighting In the peace and joy and love that's free God is in the business of answering prayer And I know he's gonna answer mine He did it for Moses, he did it for David He's been doing it for a long, long time 
if your burdens got you down, getting heavy to bear, why not take them to the Lord up above? Cause God's in the business of answering prayer. God's in the business of love. God's in the business of love. Yes, he is. Amen. I believe that. How many are thankful for a risen Savior this morning? Amen. Oh, I love it. To the tomb of Jesus The stone was moved He had gone away The angel said Fear not I know whom seek ye For he is risen And this she heard him say Stone is rolled back, gone. The tomb is empty, gone. To sit at his father's side, gone. Over death, triumphant, gone. Sin is defeated, gone. That he lives forevermore. Savior, oh, I beg of you, don't wait too late to pray, don't wait until his bride has been completed, no, don't you wait until you hear him say, it's too late for The stone's been rolled back, gone. The tomb is empty, gone. To sit at his father's side. Gone, over death, triumphant, gone. Sin is defeated, gone. But he lives forevermore. so much. What a joy to be with you here in uh, Johnson City this morning. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm tickled to be with you. This is uh, something we've been looking forward to as well for a mighty long time. My name is Josh Garner. I'm originally from a little town called Fairfield, Illinois. Yeah, I, I get it straight right now. I'm not a Yankee. I'm a Midwesterner. No matter what my wife tells you, I'm a Midwesterner. I married a girl from Chucky, Tennessee, well, limestone, whatever, six, one, half dozen, the other, right? Uh, back in 2005, and uh, this has been my home ever since, and I'm glad that it is. And I'm thrilled to be here this, this morning because this right here, this is how I grew up. Uh, you know, everything changes, and certainly changes are happening in the church world today, but uh, this is the kind of worship that I grew up with, and you folks have made me feel right at home, and Nothing has tickled me more in this life than to see my little girl up here in the choir with you folks this morning. So thank you for that. You've been a blessing to me already. I want you to know that. And uh, Brother Bill and Brother Matthew, thank you for the invitation. You know, I, I love these men because uh, they tickle me. I, it's clear they go to the same barber. Uh, <laughs> 
You don't know this, but Bill and Matthew, they've got heavenly hair. Did you realize that? That's right, it's heavenly hair. It's a bright and shiny place with no parting. That's what they've got right there. So. <laughs> oh, maybe. I'll tell you why I'm even more excited about this morning, because this is homecoming, amen? And you know what homecoming means. Food, hallelujah. Listen, somebody asked me the other day, since I came off the road full time, are you still singing? I said, yes, I am. But I'm being a lot more picky about how I, I go to sing with these churches that I go to, you know. Money, I don't really care anymore. If they bless me, they bless me. If they don't, that's fine. I book dates on how well people feed me these days. That's how I book dates. And I don't know if you can tell, uh, looking up here or not, I'm a pretty healthy boy. Um, and my favorite thing in the world is a buffet. I traveled the, the, the country of the United States for 22 years. I could tell you where every buffet is in every little corner of this country. I don't care what kind it is. A country buffet, seafood buffet, Italian buffet, Mexican buffet, Chinese buffet. It doesn't matter. I don't care as long as it's a buffet. It's my favorite kind of food, you know. And uh, especially the church homecoming. That's the ultimate buffet right there. And I've been smelling. This is going to be the shortest concert I've ever sung because <laughs> I'm just ready to get downstairs. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Did you know the word buffet was an acronym? You know what an acronym is. I, if we got any military folks, you sure know what acronyms are. And you teachers ought to know what acronym. You know, kind of like a shorthand, like FBI. That's an acronym. The word buffet is also an acronym. Did you know that? It stands for big, ugly, fat folks eating together. That means right there. <laughs> I can say that because they are one, you know, that's the only reason why. I said, no, we're going we're gonna to sing, and uh, this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful service. I appreciate you folks so much. I'll get into a, a little bit more of my history uh, as we go along, but uh, uh, this, this, just, this, this feels so good this morning. And uh, since we got a bunch of teenagers here, uh, I thought I'd go back and sing some songs that might bring back some memories for you folks, because this feels like old home place. And uh, let me do one here for you this morning. I hope I remember this, but this is a great old hymn of the church. My heart can sing when I pause to remember a heartache here is but a stepping stone along the trail that's winding always upward this troubled world is not my final home but until then my heart will go on singing until then, with joy I'll carry on Until the day my eyes behold that city Until the day God calls me home The things of earth, they're gonna dim and lose their value if we recall they're only borrowed for a while and these things of earth that cause my heart to tremble when remembered up there they'll only bring a smile but until then my heart will go on singing yes until then with joy i'll carry on until the day my eyes behold that city until the day god calls me home city until the day God calls me home 
Amen. Boy, I like that. She played it earlier, but we didn't sing it. This might be my favorite song of all time. I love it. There is coming a day when no heartache shall come. No more clouds in the sky. No more tears to dim the eye. All is peace forevermore on that happy golden shore. What a day, glorious day that will be. What a day that will be when my Jesus I sing church and I I can't hear you. Me by his grace when he takes me and leads me through the cross. Yeah. That's a good choir. Let me sing the second. There'll be no sorrow there. No more birds to bear no more sickness no pain no more parting over there and forever I will be with the one who died for you and me what a day glorious day that will be Sing it out when my Jesus. The one who saved me by his when he takes and leads me through. <laughs> oh, that's just getting good. Sing it again, everybody. Come on. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see and I look upon his face. Oh, who saved me by his grace when he takes. Sing that last part when he takes me by the hand. When he takes me by the hand. Think about it. And leaves me through the promised land. What a day, glorious day that will be. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you looking forward to it? Oh, God bless you. You know, there's something about these wonderful old songs of the faith. And Pastor and I were talking earlier. You know, there's a lot of great songs being written today. And uh, I, I know some churches, they, they prefer the modern contemporary style of worship. And that's fine as long as it glorifies the Lord. I don't care what you say. As long as it's biblically based and, and Christ honoring, it's fine. But there's just something about these good old songs that we grew up singing and listening to through the years. There's so much gospel, so much meat. You know, you, you played how great they are. And so many people leave out the middle verses. How, let me ask a question. How many here have ever had a sandwich? Anyone ever eaten a sandwich? <laughs> Nobody. It's just T-bone steaks for y'all, I see. Okay. <laughs> no, a sandwich. You got a piece of bread here and a piece of bread here. What's in the middle? The meat. 
And so often we leave out the meat of these great songs. So I appreciate, Matthew, for you, for the songs that uh, were led this morning that you've sung. And uh, I've just been blessed already, I mean to tell you. Uh, let, let me do something right now. Let me go back and uh, Pastor Bill mentioned a little bit of my history in gospel music. I, I truly did. I spent 22 years uh, full-time traveling, singing on the road. I've been to every uh, continental state in the United States, every province of Canada, most of Central America, uh, a lot out of Mexico we've been all over and uh, the Lord has blessed he gave me the desire of my heart when I was a little boy I knew all I ever wanted to do was sing in a, a gospel quartet and uh, he gave me that dream uh, almost from the very beginning I, I had three weeks to graduate high school when I joined my first group and uh, people say it as a joke but it's quite literal I got off a school bus and got on a quartet bus and uh, I spent um, the majority of my adult life doing that and, uh, you know, time has a way of changing things and circumstance, and uh, I did. I, I, we sang. That's another reason I love homecomings, because that's where I met my wife. We sang at, uh, y'all know where Chucky is, and his little church tucked away uh, back in the woods called Cassi Fool Gospel Church. Yeah, y'all know it. The uh, Florida boys, we sang at their homecoming service in 2001, July 31st, 2001. I'll never forget it as long as I live. She forgot it yesterday. But... Uh, <laughs> But no, my, my wife uh, has been a blessing to me, and she allowed me to continue living my dream. And then the Lord blessed us uh, with the most precious gifts he ever gave us, our two little girls uh, back there, Olivia and Caroline. Olivia's five, and uh, she started kindergarten this year. That's unbelievable to me. But uh, there's little Caroline. She's 10 months. If you hear any squealing, that's probably her. Hold, hold her up there. That, look at that. I did that. I did that. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. I tell him every night before bed, I am your creator. And uh, oh, we've been so blessed. But, uh, you know, I, I, I noticed that uh, I was missing some things. When you spend 250 days on the road full time, you're going to miss a lot at home. And the Lord opened a door of opportunity for me that I never dreamed I'd have. I got a real job. I've never had a real job, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how you people do it. I really don't. Uh, no, he, he opened a position for me uh, here in the Tri-Cities area. And I still travel, but I'm meeting wonderful people each and every day. Uh, working for an auto parts company. Ask me what I know about auto parts. I couldn't tell you a carburetor from a steering wheel, ladies and gentlemen. But, uh, but I love people, and uh, that's pretty much all I do is take care of people. And the Lord's blessed. He's been good. And I'm thankful for the opportunity to still be able to come and sing for you here on the weekends like this. Because this is, this is tremendous, you know. I love singing. I love it with all my heart. Uh, it's my first love, if you will. And the Lord has blessed me to be able to, to live my dream. I sang with two of the most legendary quartets ever in the history of gospel music. I've sung to as many as 77,000 people in St. Louis, Missouri, behind Willie Nelson. And I've sung to as few as three in a little church in Ohio. I've done it all in between, and it's been wonderful each and every mile of the trip. But along the way, the Lord has blessed and allowed me to sing some wonderful songs. But uh, most recently, singing with the Dixie Melody Boys, if there ever was a group that ever had a signature song, it would be the Dixie Melody Boys, and it would be this song. Let's see if anybody remembers this. Please let me sing in the choir, in the choir. Please let me sing in the choir. One old man can't be all that bad. Won't you please let me sing in the choir? I guess you'd say he's a fixture. Around town they all knew his name. And every time the church bells rang, Uncle Jesse, he up and came. He always sat in the very same pew, humming in a voice loud and rough. When it came to the Antioch Church House Choir, Uncle Jesse never heard enough. You see, he always wanted to sing in the choir, but he couldn't sing a lick, don't you know? Why, he tried out for the Antioch Choir, 
34 years in a row He'd always get to the tryouts early He wanted to try out first But instead of his singing Getting any better every year It just got a little worse He'd say, please let me sing in the choir In the choir Please let me sing in the choir one old man can't be all that bad Won't you please let me sing in the choir One cloudy Sunday morning I remember it was rain and sun The church bells rang Everybody came except Jesse He didn't come Everybody started getting worried but they figured they'd start anyhow And just as they did Jesse's voice came booming down from heaven And I don't know how He said I found me a choir that'll let me sing Now I'm singing in the choir I can lift my voice just as high as yours Maybe just a little higher he said, I found me a choir that'll let me sing Now I'm singing in the choir You folks down there, you can't hold me a light Cause I'm singing in the heavenly choir Oh, I found me a choir that'll let me sing Now I'm singing in the choir I can lift my voice just as high as yours just a little high Oh, I found me a choir That'll let me sing Now I'm singing in the choir You folks down there You can't hold me alive Cause I'm singing in the heavenly choir Please let me sing in the choir, in the choir. Please let me sing in the choir one old man can't be all that bad Won't you please let me sing in the choir God bless you. That song was the first number one song for the Dixie Melody Boys. And I believe the reason it's so special to people is because everybody knows an Uncle Jesse. Every church has an Uncle Jesse. Don't point. <laughs> and if you're sitting here this morning thinking to yourself, well, I don't know an Uncle Jesse. Chances are, friend, it's probably you, all right? <laughs> No, I, uh, I got an unfair advantage in gospel music. When I was 19, I got a call to join what I still consider one of the greatest male quartets ever in the history of our business, the Florida Boys Quartet. A lot of you will remember the days when you woke up on Sunday morning to get ready for church and you'd turn on the television and you'd hear Jubilee, Jubilee. That was the gospel singing Jubilee and that was the Florida Boys that hosted each and every show that came on the air for 30 plus years. And uh, what an honor to be able to travel and sing with some true pioneers in our field. Uh, just an 18 year old kid didn't know anything but I wanted to sing and those gentlemen gave me an opportunity of a lifetime and uh, you talk about hit songs uh, they had so many through the years and I was honored to get to sing uh, many of their previous hits and uh, blessed to have just one myself with the group and uh, let me share that with you this morning this is one of my favorite lyrics of all time beautiful song been living in the shadows of your hurts and past mistakes. If you had the chance, you'd love to try again. I too wish I could go back 
and change the things I've done. It's only by the blood of Jesus I can say I'm forgiven. I've been forgiven of the things that had brought me guilt and shame. Now I am in victory those sins of mine are all behind I've been forgiven there's no need to recall times you wondered from the Lord if his cleansing flow has washed your sin away so when satan reminds you of your past remind him of his future he knows he'll never have the chance to say i'm forgiven i've been forgiven of the things that had brought me guilt and shame. Now I am free to live in victory. Those sins of mine are all behind. Those sins of mine are all behind. I've been forgiven. I've been What a blessing to be able to sing this song each and every night for eight years. I'm not on an ego trip. I'm nothing on my own. I make mistakes. I often slip. I'm just common flesh. So 
Lee. What a powerful song. Powerful testimony. He was on the cross. No matter what we've done in our lives, no matter how many mistakes we've made, no matter how insignificant you feel you are in this world, it's a mighty big place that we live in. And sometimes we, we feel like nobody notices, nobody cares. Friends, I'm here to tell you 2,000 years ago, as Jesus hung upon the cross of Calvary, he had you on his mind. He knew everything that you would go through. That's why he took all the sin throughout all of history and all of time. He bore it upon himself on that old rugged cross where he, he suffered, he bled, and he died. They placed him in an old borrowed tomb, but praise God, three days later, he rose triumphant over death, hell, and the grave, and he lives forevermore, seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for you and for me. People ask me all the time, they say, why, why did you do it? Why did you sing all those years? Why did you travel all those miles away from family and home? I did it because I love him, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Christ is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. I hope you can say the same. But I got to tell you, a close second sitting right back there. Now, Mom's done taking the baby off. She, she gets fed more than I do. Bless her heart. Uh, Olivia. You weren't even paying attention, were you? Were you listening to me? You better be. She's over here. Hey, there's, there's Caroline. Kennedy and Quinlan, they all played t-ball together this summer. That's how we got to know Matthew. And I see so many precious. What is this one right here? Two weeks? Three weeks? Forty-nine? You had to go with days, didn't you? <laughs> you? Did you go to South Central like my wife? Is that the problem? <laughs> she still uses her fingers to count. Bless her heart. No, I'm precious, precious baby. And we got others all over the building. Where did I see some more? There, look at that swamper right there. That's going to be a lot. Right there, I can tell that already. All these beautiful children. Let me do something that's a little out of the ordinary. But uh, this is something I do to, to my girls. Uh, I, I try to do it every day, but I don't always get it in. And it took a long, long time for Olivia to quit screaming when I would do it. Now she kind of, I think she kind of appreciates it now. I don't know. But uh, I'll never forget the day that uh, my first niece was born. I saw my grandfather who was my hero. He did this for her uh, right there in the hospital room. And I vowed if I ever had daughters of my own, this would become my theme song. And I sang it to my girl. says, you're the end of the rainbow, my pot of gold. You're daddy's little girl to have and hold. A precious gem is what you are. Your mommy's bright and shining star. You're the spirit of Christmas, my star on the tree. You're the Easter bunny to mommy and me. Your sugar, your spice, your everything nice. And your daddy's little girl. Isn't that sweet? I don't know most of you. This is the first time I've met you. But I can promise you, as much as I love you today in the Lord, you're my brother, you're my sister. As Christians, we're family. But I can promise you, I do not have enough love within me to sacrifice one of my children for one of you. Please don't take that wrong. Please don't think ill of me. I just don't contain that much love. If one of you were here today suffering in need of a, a sacrifice, I would not give you my child. I love them far more than anything else on this world. But aren't you thankful that when we needed a sacrifice, that we have a heavenly Father that loves us so much that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes on him should not perish, but have 
have everlasting life. Aren't you thankful he loved you this morning? As the Savior was walking up Calvary's hill, all the birds hushed their singing, and the leaves stood still, all the flowers of the field bowed their Side. Oh, the pain was so great that tears filled eyes. Yet he spoke, he spoke not a word until the last breath he drew. Then prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know. What they do Oh, tell me why Tell me why Did Jesus die on Calvary? Tell me why Did he suffer such agony? God bless you. Thank you so much. Pastor Bill.